this grand press tour for the movie Dukot. This is again, I'm so excited. Whenever this director comes out with a movie, talaga naman, I always look forward. He's a game changer, I'd like to say this. He comes up with kakaiba kahit uh, concepto. Oh, ano kasi yung tanah ko dito? Okay, hindi ko lang po patatagunan. Most of you have eaten at the other major heavy of food. And again, thank you, Wangpo Cafe, for having two podcasts and Star Cinema here. Always, always appreciate the support of Wangpo Cafe. Okay, so ganito po ang nagagawin ko. Anong gagawin ko? Charo. Oo, I'd like to call in para masabay-sabay din natin po mapanood ang old trailer na Dukot. Uumpisahan ko na pong tawagin. Starting off with, I see here, Dino Pastrano. Dino! Ayan, first time ko, I heard this guy is really good. Dino Pastrano. Okay, bang, this is Dino. Okay, Q na. Okay, Q na. Ha? Okay. Oh, I miss this beautiful actress, Miss Bing Pimentel! Pano pala ko dito during the, ano, one of the most prettiest during her time talaga naman. Yeah, she had her time ng mga konyo-konyo actresses, Miss Bing! Okay, pakikahit naman. Ayan. Sensor na ka, Miss Bing. And next naman, and let's call it, oh, another great actor sa generation niya. Alex Medina, everyone's favorite. Alex, join us here. Bakit kaya siya everyone's favorite? Well, how you come? Shall we? Ayan, hi Alex. Can you join here? Okay. Ayan, Alex. First to arrive yan si Alex. Ayan. Everyone. Alex knows everyone. Okay, next time I'll know she's back. I'm not sure that she's back. I'm very, very happy to see her personal life. But I'm happy that she's back doing movies. Miss Banks, Garcia! Yes! Wow! Okay. Wow, so gorgeous, beautiful Banks. Garcia. Okay, so I'm asking you not to give up because we'd like to hear more of Miss B. Greet everyone, please. Would you like to greet everyone? So happy to be here. And we're happy that you're doing movies again. Sometimes. I know. Okay, thank you, Miss Big and Alex Medina. Magandang hapon po sa mga pinakawang ngayon sa Wang Fu. Salamat sa pag-attend. Pagkukulat pa kami sa role mo dito, Alex? Parang hindi na kumbing siya. You're part of this great movie. Yes, I am. And I have the experience of doing this character. Wow, looking forward. And of course, I'm happy that she's back doing movies again, projects again. Thanks, Garcia. Thanks. Hello, good afternoon po. Thank you po sa pagpunta today. Ayan, sana support natin po natin ang two-pot ngayong July 13 na po. Yay, thank you, Banks. And I'd like to call in. She's probably one of the busiest actresses natin, ha? Left and right din ang ginagawa. I'd like to call in. Fresh from the success of her MMK Wild, one of the highest rating episodes of MMK. I'd like to call in Miss Shaina Magdayao! Oh, pinaiyak tayo niya. Nakakalaw kayo si Shaira sa MMK. Ay, grabe. Sige, pataanin natin. O, yun, laki mong yan. Ikaw pa rin nakakala mo siya. Okay, we'd like to hear from Shaira. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. At sana ay muli, ito na naman po ako sa harapan ninyo, humihingi ng tulong na i-promote ang project na ito. Because this project is really very nice. I accepted this to be able to work with the Red Paul. So napaka-exciting itong movie na ito. Sana po tulungan nyo kami. Good afternoon po. Good 
Definitely. So how was the journey from there to here? Okay. Oh, medyo na natigil ang ano namin doon, nang usapan namin doon sa Bicol, to Bicol Daydream. Looking good. Congrats sa Ina. And of course, sabi ko na every time you project, she's a star cinema ko sa ABS-CBN. Lagi, I'd like to support the NEL. And I'm happy that it's part of this movie. Do what? The Drama King! Christopher De Leon! Okay, then I can leave you, okay? Sir Boyer, hi, good afternoon, good afternoon, bro. Hi, Jorn. Good afternoon, bro. Ito lang ang special sa mga Ethel, no? Nakatingin kayo mo rin si Ethel and Miss Tita Chris. Okay, thank you, Tito Brother Bo. Ito, Brother Bo. Let's call it now. Of course, sabi nga ni Direct Paul kanina, happy that he's doing ganito mga genre role this actor. Nakakatuwa na medyo umalis siya sa comfort zone niya and doing a great material. Enrique Hill! Ano ba'ng tips sa mandu ko? Kakantahin ko para may music. Ay, Ken! Greet everyone, Ken, please! Hello po, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Thank you so much for being here today and sharing your time with us. Sana po may enjoy ng video. This July 13th na po, of course. And, ayun, sana may enjoy ko. Ma'am Shee, I'm not going to be here. Ken, alam namin mahusay ka, pero husay-husay mo daw dito and the rest of the cast. Bagay po si Derek Paul, tsaka ayun lang. Wow, ang nangyari na kita siya ang makakatrabahan na makakatrabahan na makakatrabahan. And of course, sabi ko nga, pinilang ko malang pinikula at least twice a year, but lagi siyang merong bago pinapakita. Derek Paul, so yan o! Ayan, direct po! Hello everyone, good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Hi, hi! Okay, nag-ayang medyo na lang yung ating ano. Before the question and answer, please, we'd like to show you the full trailer of Dukot. Please watch this. Dino! Dino! Happy birthday! 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 Happy Ang lalo ay patagyang buhay mo sa tatay mo. Akala ko, kahit anong okay lang doon, basta yun. Para sa pamilya. Huwag mo siya masaktan. Kung gusto mo siya mabuhay, bayaran mo kami. July 13 na po ang cinema station. Why ba? Suspense, drama ang genre ng pelikula. Medyo kakaiba for a Paul Soriano. Yun ang title. Hi, Dino! Ayan. Dino Mastrano in the house. Maka Dino naman ako parang close kami. Hi, Dino! Can you greet everyone, please? Hello, everyone. Sorry. Hello. Alright. Ayan po, halos kompleto na. Kasama rin pala yung napakakusay na si Ricky Dabaw. Ano? Okay, the first question simply will come from our dear Tita Ethel. Can we turn the mic, Tita Ethel? Can we turn Tita Ethel's mic on? First question. Don't 
big packet, but based on trailer, parang iba ito. Can you elaborate? Yeah, actually, um, uh, do cut or capture taken. Parang yan ang title ng film. Because it, the film is about uh, kidnapping, uh, small time crimes, small time robberies. And it's also based on a true story, a true uh, kidnapping that really happened about six, seven years ago. Wow. And uh, because of all my research, uh, I found the, this particular kidnapping to be quite cinematic, just like a movie already. So we, we developed the screenplay together with uh, my screenwriter, uh, Florian Medina, who I've worked with with Tungko Lapu and Zalma, he also wrote the last movie. Developed local for about so it's been not for about two years. We were writing a script, and uh, up to this day, uh, I can't really say my research because those are all classified and confidential kidnapping cases. I'm not allowed to say the names. Better be allowed to introduce the story. So yeah, Duka was the title we came up with because uh, the character that Enrique Hill plays here, Carlos Duka, was was taken. Duka <laughs> chat. Okay, let's start with Miss Bean. Miss Bean, your character, your role, please tell us. I play the mother, the victim of these two beautiful kids. Um, what can I say? I, you know, uh, Okay, thank you, Miss Bing. Alex, your role. Yes, I play Jim Bo. Ako yung na father ni Jim Bo. Kapag ito dito si Pig, strangely. Pero mahala ni Pig dito is Alex. And uh, uh, yun, uh, we do this kasi we are given uh, to, you know, uh, yung, ang tagal? <laughs> yung, the extent nung, uh, yung crimes kasi kailangan namin dahil na uh, lumaki kami sa hirap, hindi kami yung wealth, uh, and we got our father na ma maaga and then, uh, yun, uh, basically just driven, driven to do this because uh, kailangan namin, kasi siya. Kanino dikit ang character ng Alex sa cast, kanino? Kay, uh, kay ano yun, shotgun dyan, kay, kay dito ba yun? And she had been out there and she's a girl, a girl, a girl, you know. And that must be a business girl. Okay. Thank you, Lex. And of course, thanks. Ako po dito si Girly. Fan, go with the flow type of girl. Na girlfriend niya, Alex. Okay. So, actually, walang ano eh. Walang backstory. Walang mo tipo ko dito, no? Hindi, walang backstory niyo, ano ko. Pero? Pero kasi, um, I'll do anything for Alex. So, sinusupport natin siya kapit panunin niya kasi na-close with family niya. Ayun. So, kahit na medyo hindi natama yung ginagawa, parang ano ba rin ako, support pa rin ako ng girlfriend. Pati, hindi tramahan ang ginawa ko dito. Hindi, hindi ko masyado. Hindi masyado. It's an action-packed movie, pero sa character, medyo relaxed lang ako. Okay. Alright, thank you. And of course, Dina, would you like to tell us your character, your role here? Uh, my character's name is Tiny. Uh, Vincent Pusigurlis, uh, which is played by a dance. Um, Soft-scoping new character. Pero? Pero, uh, um, matatang. Mukhang may tinatago ka na itong Dina sa character. Oh, man. I'm very happy, actually, to be part of the film kasi... That's the last one. Actually, ano talaga, jogging in a person. Okay. Some of our take time and we did it, and I don't know. I had to go with a certain mindset. Because it's not going to be a good thing. Oh, because it's either now in Seattle, it's just a shuttle jump, and then, of course, it's just a test for it. And it's just a test for it. Okay. 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 And of course, uh, Brother Bo plays your character. Uh, yes, uh, I play... Uh, 
I pay the shotgun, Johnny. No, it's Manong Johnny. Manong John. The name is Manong Johnny. I used to play, guys, I used to play uh, the boy next door before. I then I played the, I, you know, uh, I can't remember what I'm going to like father of uh, Shalina and all that. Uh, love triangles and all. Now I play Mano. Johnny. The name Mano na umayun. And then si Mano Johnny always carries a shotgun. So he's the strong, uh, he's a tough, silent guy, but wise too. Uh, and he's a member of the gang. The Duhok gang. Alright. Thank you. China, your role here. I play the role of Kaki Sandoval. Uh, anak po ako um, nila Tita Ricky, uh, who is not here, Tita Ricky Dagao. And ako ho ay para bago, ako ho ay ang ate ni Enrique. <laughs> Matanda na rin naman tayo, no? <laughs> so, um, actually, dahil na-check ko na yung nanay sa list ko, check naman natin yung ate. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I play um, a caring ate. Um, she's also very uh, ano ba, um, responsible. She's a yogi, so meron siyang business. Um, and uh, ayon, uh, dapat ako ang madudukot. Pero meron akong um, ano ba, kapatid na handang isacrifice ang kanyang sarili. So, the book is just simple and I'm in coin. Interesting, huh? And of course, Ken, your role. Yes, I'm going to see Carlos Sandoval, the son and, uh, of Tito Ricky and uh, his baby. And of course, um, ang kapatid po ni Cathy Sandoval, played by Shaina. Si Carlo, siya yung medyo black sheep of family. So he, never, he felt he never fit in because he never siya nakasunod sa hip-hop ng tatay niya. And for that, he feels like he was never accepted. Kaya pinaka-close niya sa family niya, his auntie and sister niya. Till nangyari nga itong incident na nakita niya yung sister niya. Uh, yung sister niya, most likely is uh, Carlos' whole life. Yung know, shoulder to cry and everything. So nakita niya, nakuhulit sa kanya. At siya yung favorite ng family. I opted na ako nilang siyempre babae. So, yun. Doon po nang simulan. Okay. Can we show you mabas ka sa, ano mo na, sa security blanket mo na sa sabi? Para rong ko. Wala na lang din ngayon. Tapo, yeah. So, what does it feel na sumusolo tayo ngayon na suspense yeah. action drama? Yeah, okay. Nung pinitch po sa akin, yung movie, at the recall was there in that meeting a bit, yung slideshow pa lang pinakita sa akin ng first page. Okay, go, go. Sabi something different, diba? Even uh, so, I wanna try something new na hindi ko parang gagawa before. I have a question that I call him. Sabi, sabi si Dito Boy and everybody sabi yung game na to, let's do this. So I think, you know, I'm from my show. Ano talagang... It looks fun kasi po eh. Once in a while you wanna do uh, rules. Oh, 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 oh. Medyo action, suspense, something more. You know? Yeah. Alright. Dito Ethel. Ayas, Dito Ethel. Ah, uh, gusto ko pang rato yung sinusipis kasi dahil meron tayo Na ano kita na ano? Ano ko? Chalo na. Kaya may bakit kita na MJ? Kaya may tanong ako kaya. Kaya ano kaya? 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 Good luck talaga ako. Hindi, siguro po kasi I told you, as I said, it's my first time was, you know, uh, doing something else, like a suspense action. I was always my dream to do that. Siyempre, uh, with ABS, uh, almost all of my work has been uh, wrong ko, but I enjoy it a lot. But sometimes, siyempre, you wanna mix things up a little bit. You get to learn a lot from different things and uh, with other great actors. Yeah. That's why I don't have to worry because I'm not going to do it. It's a different vibe of the show. So I enjoyed it a lot. And I wanted to learn. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon.
Ang question ko kay Direk Paul, Direk kanina sinabi mo classified info yung uh, pinagpasihan ito. Bakit, can, you, but can you give us a little uh, background kung anong klaseng kaso ito? Mayanan ba? Chinese? Pinoy? Classified in her? Joke lang, joke lang. Joke lang, joke lang. Joke lang, joke lang. Actually, hindi pa kasi the cases that we study are still ongoing. Uh, so a lot of the cases haven't been solved yet. So usually they don't speak. Although the reason why I had an insight into this particular story, he was my neighbor. Ah, uh, 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 the same street. So in 2008-2009, I remember in the village on association, they were passing out memos uh, in a in a robot, and I did not in this street. If you know anything, please let us know. So of course, as a storyteller, it, it, it grabbed my attention. No? But, well, we were living in a movie, no? but, we were giving all these uh, memos and stuff. So eventually, um, he did get rescued. Um, and he, he, um, he was well, but it was just the journey of his rescue, the journey of the family that was so interesting. And I guess one of the reasons why I wanted to um, fill it, uh, make it into a movie. So, and I got to speak with him first time, I got to speak with his family. But yes, I keep their names uh, passed by only because some of the kidnappers are still on the loose. Uh, but maybe now with uh, President Duterte, in the next six months, patay na sila. Grabe, ang dalim sa mga yung mga dumukod. Wala naman dito ngayon direct yung kidnappers. Para may nabuhukan. How is this different? Kasi nagkaroon na ng You Are My Home. Na parang ganun din yung theme, no? Parang dinukod din yung anak. So parang, paano siya madi-different? Well, I guess, well, I'm not familiar with that story. But I guess, I mean, in my research also, I watched a lot of films that have tackled this uh, genre, you know, kidnap action. You get things like Taken, uh, you know, very popular Taken series. I watched a lot of films that, uh, Panic Room was one of my inspirations also, a heavy, uh, uh, Mexican film. And I just studied, and I guess as a filmmaker, I tried to give it my own twist, my own treatment, that we can still take the audience for a ride and, you know, get them on the edge of their seats and, uh, you know, journey with us in, uh, in the YouTube one. Thanks, Derek. Last question okay, okay. Ano, okay. kay Asia Ina. Friend, <laughs> medyo malapit yes. sa'yo yung kwento nito. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Asia Ina, can you please tell us paano mo piloseso yung pelikulang to doon sa nangyari sa pamilya nyo? Oh, uh, medyo malayo ang agwan because we did this movie January, February, I was doing my candidate, so medyo malayo po siya. Okay. Kailan lang naman nangyari sa amin, no? Um, nine days uh, without my pamangkin, no? Uh, but uh, naibalik naman sa amin and um, medyo it uh, we want to be very careful dun sa mga statements na ibibigay namin kasi nasa korte pa siya. Uh, but how was that emotionally for the family, especially sa iyo? Actually, siguro kung ngayon namin ginawa yung dupot, medyo talaga mas makaka-relate talaga ako. Kasi hindi mo, alam, di ba, kung ano ba nangyayari, na mas talo na yung sa amin, she's just a little girl, a baby girl, she's seven years old na. So, uh, nakakatakot na um, wala ka namang ibang magawa kundi ipagkasal na lang talaga no, that everything will be okay and um, iba ba ang lahat ng ego, ang pride para dun sa welfare ng bata because at the end of the day ang um, nagsasuffer is not us hindi kami mga matatanda, okay lang eh pero kapag na bata na yung pinag-uusapan ibang ano na yun, diba? so sana um, maayos na lang Mas, mas careful ba kayo? Mas maingat kayo ngayon when, when you bring si Hannah out? Yeah. We're very careful, uh, but at the same time, nagtitiwala kami that uh, no one is above the law. And um, nagtitiwala din kami sa mga lawyers namin. And magiging maayos rin naman ito. Thank you, Shaina. Thank you. Okay, thank you, MJ. Okay, dito ito. Pwede yung pagtanong. Mga ilang taon yun. Ako na lang. Uh, he was around 19, 18, 19. Uh, so around 2008, 2009. So he was around 18, 19 years old. And I guess the reason why I also wanted to focus on this because there's a lot of small time crimes going on that you know we tend to forget. You know we only pay attention to the high profile cases. So there's a lot of small time, middle class uh, crimes that are happening that hopefully a movie like this can create awareness. And let's not forget that you know like just because one is rich, we pay more attention. Let's pay attention to everyone's case. We're all equal. And 
it up whether you're poor or you whether you're rich, you should still give it priority. And in fairness, the to our police, our PNP and the staff, you know, they're doing their best. And I really believe you know, this administration must still accept it. That's why this is not interesting, but because it's spent time on me. Yes, thank you. Can you see Joe? My Okay, si John. So, parang eight, it's like an eight to nine year old material, right? Or just the the, the story. Kailan mo develop na mabuo into script? Well, yeah, like I first found out about it around 2008, 2009, when we were living in the same village. And then, only around 2012, uh, I got to talk to him, and then uh, we got to talk. And you developing the story. You know, when I make a film, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, as you can tell, I don't make a lot of movies. Uh, I don't turn it out a lot. I really pay attention to the screenplay. And it took me about two years to write this video for you. So. Okay, so... Okay, if I mean Joe Bonsong is a question. Oh, okay. Um, congratulations, Bo, and I'm so excited to watch your movie. Oh, <laughs> Siguro tatanong ko for each of the past, uh, before you you took your role in this film and after, ano po yung changes? Did you have, uh, did you have a uh, conscious effort to research on kidnapping cases also? Uh, Na-apektohan na ba kayo dahil sa uh, pelikula na to? At para kay direct naman po, uh, <coughs> parang ano eh, may feel na are we going to aim for another international award because of this, uh, <laughs> this uh, no, film? Kasi napaka-relevant yung, ano, yung film, lalo na ngayon, may bago tayong presidente. Okay, let's start with Ms. Uh, B. May nag-research ka okay na B? No, I didn't, but um, I have uh, relatives but I was a little girl because my, my uh, cousin was a victim of uh, mistaken identity and you know, we found her in Bulacan. Uh, she, she was kidnapped and she was killed. Uh, I think I was in high school, so it was all quite a long time ago, so I only remember it now yeah, that, that that happened. We don't even know why. We don't talk about it in the family. Uh, this family never yes. talked about it. Shepre, it's difficult to bring that memory to my aunt and uncle. So, we na lang namin pinag-uusapan. Um, when I was doing my role, you know, I can just imagine how to portray it. But, but I'm very sure that it's not enough because I never experienced it. Mahira talaga. I mean, you know, I, I, I imagine myself using a child, uh, and it's it's troubling. Pag binabasa mo yung script, parang, you know, the whole evening, I'm just imagining it, and it's so painful. But that's about it. You know, I wouldn't want to experience it. Okay, thank you, Ms. B. Alex, nag-research ka about kidnappings prior to doing this? Well, kasi, um, ako yung kaming kidnapper, so yung baga ano lang, uh, the way it happened was, I'm not sure to say it, pero uh, beneath na lang yung direct phone na uh, our characters are like, um, ano kami, fans kami ng mga, is there a father sa uh, story, ano siya, wala na siya, pero ano siya, parang ex-military siya, uh, working with the uh, shotgun drums, so parang kami, we grew up so little environment and we used that to our advantage para mag, uh, mag-hold up na pwede takang tatay mo parang yeah so parang gano'n lang pero uh, kung meron mo kaming like how to handle a gun or ano ba yung mga like how do you enter a building and you know sweet so, mga gano'n ang gano'n ka ba? may gano'n lang may gano'n kami yung know, briefing with the report na uh, isispeak isispeak mo yung unahin mo yung ganito unahin mo yung aha lahat lahat breaking in Android yeah so parang gano'n yung research namin uh, hindi naman siya like uh, malaking research, pero minimal, pero very vital is the story kung like how we are as uh, hindi kami yung typical na hold up pero magawang marunong kami, hindi kami yung basta-basta lang. Wow, ang dami pa nga matututunan sa loob. Okay, Bangs! Um, actually, this is my second film about kidnapping. Wow, what was the first? The first po, uh, Burgos, based on a true story that po kasama ko sa Pinalor na Tolentino, 
Although, kasama ko doon sa family na tinutukan. This time, kami yung mandudukon. So, there's a difference. Pero, yeah, um, after filming, talaga, I know, I get curious. Sometimes, I go to Google. Pero, you have to know the specifics para makuha talaga yung entire story. Pero, minsan, when I have time, um, nakausap ko yung um, staff. I ask about what really happened, you know, not to the extent of my sort of sort of research. But, um, uh, ang maganda rin kasi sa movie na to, it's not just based on a true story, it's not just action-packed, it also tackles about family values. So, one thing's for sure, after you watch this movie, mapapaisip ka, hanggang saan ba ang kaya yung gawin sa pangang sa pamilya nyo? So, yun. Oh yes, kasi ano eh, um, natapos ko na pong gawin to before it happened. It happened, the thing with my family happened a month ago lang eh. So very fresh ko siya. Oh uh, yeah, a month ago lang. Um, uh, okay, so yun po, medyo nahihirapan ako to really relate kay, kay, kay Kathy. Kasi never pa naman siya nangyari. Had I known na mangyayari, di ba? Parang, ah, okay, sige, alam na alam ko na kung paano pala mag, mag-worry, kung paano ka um, hindi makalagay, hindi mo alam kung anong gagawin mo. So, ano na lang, ipagdadasal mo na lang. Ba? So, nine days, no? Oo, oh, nine days. Um, pero ito yung, yung, um, itong role ko, just like, my other roles, parang ini-imagine ko na lang kung paano nga ba talaga, kung ako nga ba talaga yung ate, I would really feel bad kasi dapat sana ako na lang eh. Ako na lang ang duduhutin, but then nag-sacrifice nga itong little brother ko and nag-present na siya. So, ang ending, siya ngayon ang naduhon. So, yung struggle ko as um, Kathy is yun, nakukonsensya siya, um, she feels really bad kasi in business, sana siya na lang yung tinukot, yung middle brother pa niya, yung, um, yung napunta sa hindi masyado magandang situation. Um, and, uh, well, I was really very excited to do this this film. I did this during um, yung ginagawa kong My Candidate. And sabi ko, sige, go, maski, sabay. <laughs> okay lang. Because I really wanted to uh, work with a team of um, Derek Paul. It's it's actually the theme of this one. But, but siguro, pareho kami ni Enrique, no? Nasanay po kayo na nakikita na drama. Um, what's the story of us? Rom-com, parang ganon. So, very refreshing to do uh, a role like this, a project like this. And yung last na nagawa ko parang ganon, it was on the job pa. So, a long time ago. So, yun, na-excite ako na at least meron tayong ito literal talaga na bagong maiyahain sa mga moviegoers natin. Uh, yun ba? Okay, thank you, Shayna. Uh, Dino, you're, did you do research? Um, like Alex said, hindi naman kami, ano, kami, kami yung part ng duro ko, so as kid na, first parang nag-isip na ako ng mga, kung masabihin bang friends ko na writers, kung paano ba, ano dapat yung emotion na matanggap na, or dapat may experience namin, so most of them said, escalation, medyo aimless lang talaga yung mga uh, pag ano, uh, very selfish din, although you know, in a way, pag namin ito para sabihin namin at sa pamilya namin, selfish pa rin siya kasi wala kami kung kayo so, in the extent of my research, it's a matter Okay, thank you. Uh, Brother Bo? Yes. Uh, when I read the material, it's uh, right the process. Because uh, the yung, yung process of how to deal with the kidnappers, except friends. Uh, the uh, uh, police uh, force. So how to deal with the kidnappers and how to uh, negotiate with them. No? So when we pass the material, it's tama, tama, ito, tama. I mean, lahat sakto, no? But uh, uh, sa kapilang banda, ako naman kasi is, I'm part of the gang of the, the gang, but hesitant ako, I'm not a kidnapper. My character, Mang Johnny's character, is not a kidnapper. He is a holdapper. He, he was reluctant 
he was like uh, against uh, the idea of kidnapping the character of the So, you lose hope, you lose hope, and all the action scenes were tama and uh, our good director here was very precise with the, you know, the execution of uh, everything, the technicality, and then and of course, especially the emotions that comes out of the, you know, the theme. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, brother. Ken. Yes, uh, research, yes, the research po ako. A lot about the mga kidnapping na nangyari sa South, kasi inhabit the South. But not only that, kasi para sa akin, no matter how much you, you research, right, I, I read a lot, I watch movies, no matter how much you, you research, but if you haven't really gone through anything like it, hindi ako lang sa isipin. Nalala ko na sa set kami, nasa loob ako ng cell, tapos I was, my natural time. It's easy, easy. But ano kaya ang pinagdaala ni Carlo, ni the real guy, doon sa situation na doon? Para alam talaga na sa isip niya, how did you handle everything? It, you can't really imagine unless you're in its pattern. So, you know, I only could picture what he might have done or what he might have felt in my mind. Maybe it might be, you know, uh, it's mahirap eh. It makes the emotions and it's not it just fear, it's different, a lot of different things. There's some instances, okay, you're ready to play in a moment, okay, you're ready to die. But a part of you will be fine. But it's, it's, uh, it's very hard. Thing. And I just noticed the whole time that uh, you sing the song in one day, it can make you go crazy. It's like they're in the head. I mean, if you can try it all, it's a long time in the morning, it's a long time in the morning. It's really hard, as in the other night. Yun pa lang, yun pa lang. It's a small thing that I can tie in her hands for. The feeling ko, nasisira na ulo. What for pa lahat na ito nangyari sa akin? Papakain ka ba o kalahat ba? Well, that's not, oo. So, if you say yung pagka-tie in the house, it's just nothing. But for me, well, di ba, it's, it tick me off. Alam mo, tick me off, pero it was so bothering me. It was different. Kaya hindi mo talaga ma-imagine. It was, it's a situation you wouldn't want to be in. We all don't want to be in. Okay, direct po for the awards and international recognition. Before I answer that, I just wanted to add to the characters that these great actors here portray. Each actor, not just Enriquez, was also in the company research now. Maybe the character of Monica is based on real criminals. So I, the, the character played by Alex Dean was based on a, on a real criminal. We, we went to the prisons actually also, and we got to meet some criminals. Um, so yeah, that, that's how, at least myself, is able to tell the story. I, I really thrive on the, on the truth, and bring that truth to the big screen. So at least for people, hopefully that's not actually good. In terms of uh, international awards, well, you know, it's, uh, my focus is just telling great stories. Uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, the master is the story. And if your story wins those awards, uh, great. But at the end of the day, I, I feel already awarded. Working with such a brilliant cast and being able to tell a story, have it come out in cinemas, that in itself is already a big achievement for myself. And so be it, you know, it's like, 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 you know, I get to tell stories to, to create awareness. Okay, Mami Jo. Uh, it's a matter of what I love. Sana yung ano yung favorite scene mo, Derek? Kasi binabatay ako para kay meron pang art sa paggamit ng ilaw. It's like yeah. screenplay mo talaga. No, let's say anything. Well, screenplay by by Coyle and Medina was uh, very, very good. Uh, my favorite scene, uh, actually, uh, you know, being inside the room, I think, the room that Carl was in, I, I, overall, and I don't know if it's, if it's something that I will achieve, no? it's, it's for the audience to tell me, so I, I shot the film as close to the as possible. So, uh, so I used a lot of tight lenses, 135, 85, uh, so my depth of field was very shallow, and I wanted to choke the audience just as well as I was choking the soil. So hopefully, when you're watching the film, unlike the last film I produced, which is about eight hours, but this is about a 
hour and 20 minutes some. About an 80 minute, 90 minute, fast paced. I wanted to keep you, I want to keep the audience on the edge of their seats. And the only time you get to breathe is at the end. But I am hopefully on the 13th of July, yes. we get that reception. So, good. Okay, thank you, Derek. Thank you, Mami Jo, for the question. Miss G. Juliana has a question, sorry. Um, making this For the, the question is for for everyone. Miss Bing, uh, na ano ba ang question ba ang ano mo on security? Ah, uh, medyo. Okay. Kasi, you know, I'm, I don't lock my doors. Not even my main door. So now I do. I even lock my, my uh, bedroom. Because of doing, after doing it. Yes. Wow. I'm, I'm so trusting that, you know, I can sleep well at night. But, I, I just realized that there are bad people out there and you know it's not just the people that I know. So uh, yes, I'm I'm more careful now. Okay. Uh, Alex, yeah. since we played the uh, characters in the shadow when you sit here and then it's our uh, security then I guess um, when you actually get to see the film, see the world, that's when you have that sense of uh, I guess uh, your May paranoia ka na. Like, kasi yun yan, walang ka rin ng video sa Facebook na yung mga hinuhold up. Agad-agad. I think yun yung uh, siguro mga, I guess, message ng movie na ito. I think it did. Pero I think the actors, I can really look at from the outside as much. Okay, um, thanks. Yeah, ako, I think I became slightly paranoid. I live in a condo, so sometimes iiwan ko lang ang unlocking door na ako. But after shooting the film, I don't know, like for the middle long, all the time, I, I became more cautious. And I'm planning to have a uh, third laugh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just alone, so I don't know, I need to be careful about that. Even yes, yes. I need to be careful Okay, Dina. <laughs> Uh, I say I'm, uh, I'm not really more not paranoid, but I'm more aware uh -huh. because I try to put myself in the mind of these criminals, and it's just that um, we, you know, in certain situations they really just care about themselves, and that's what I'm trying to. Do. Well, hopefully, it will never happen to anyone in this room, but definitely um, more aware of these kinds of people. Thank you, Dino, brother Bo. Yeah, uh, I believe in saying a better safe than sorry. Okay, so I lock all my doors. Uh, my fences are uh, with the uh, really sharp. Uh, yeah, and of course I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll go there later. Uh, Saka I have dogs. And then uh, I lock my front door. All the, the doors are locked. Even even the rooms, all the rooms of my children are locked. Every night I have CCTV and all that. And about like so CCTV is talking about that. Uh, about like three four months ago. Uh, no, at three four months ago. May pumasok sa bahay. Tama-tama, nakita ko. Binaril ko. Binaril ko. Binaril ko. Hindi ko naman pinatamaan. Hindi ko pinatamaan, pero binaril ko. Nagkatapak ko sila. Binaril ko. That was, isa yung nakita ko. Isa yung nakita ko. So, uh, this happened to me several years, several years ago. Pero, that, Pero ito nangyari kapag of months ago lang, no? Pero may nangyari din, matagal na matagal na, but nahuti namin yung mga mag-anakaw. Kinala po ba namin, Brother Bo? <laughs> so, yeah, it's... I'm gonna say, sorry, I also have all my 
uh, first aid kit in case of, you know, the big whatever comes. Uh, all the cars have, I know the Mejo, I know the record, actually. Actually, I know. Yeah, uh, all my cars have you know, first aid kits. All the cars, all, including my kids, uh, my children's cars, and kids. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just, now it's, you have to be safe, you have to be uh, really uh, secure and uh, use your CCTVs, so thank God, and, and, and uh, first and foremost, siempre, pray, always pray for, for protection, oh, man. and awesome. then ask for it. God to uh, let his garrisons of holy angels guard your house, your place, your humble, your abode, or your family at the same time. Thanks, Brother Bo. Ah, Ken. I don't know what I've experienced in this way, but I've been able to get into the way I've been able to get into the way I've been able to get into the way I've been able to get into the way. It's a scary thing, you know? Because I would do anything for my family. Same as the other people that have chosen, among all the other people that are really at the point that they would do literally anything and everything for their family, for their needs. And that's a scary thing. When you're willing to do anything and everything for your family, for your loved ones, you can do even bad things sometimes. And that's a scary thing, you know? And it's true here in our country. Not in my own, it's people who are experiencing hardships. Kaya gusto sabi ko nila, protect yourselves at all times, block everything, make sure that you're all safe, and just hope for the best. Si Shaina pala lagi ng tama sa inyo ng mga kwesya. Kaya mo ko ano nangyayari? Diyos ko. Well, siguro mas nagiging careful lang kami ngayon, personally, sa mga pamangkin ko, kasi they're kids pa. Um, again, uh, alam nyo ko kung gano'n ako uh, malapit sa mga pagkakin ko, especially mga babies pa. Um, so we just want to make sure na they're safe. Um, sya, mga kids, laging mayaya na kasama. Um, ako naman medyo, ano rin ako yan, I always lock my door. So wala namang pinagbago doon. But again, um, it's just freaky na hindi mo, like, like lahat naman tayo, Okay naman yung, um, like when you look at someone, di ba, ayaw naman natin mag-judge, pero nasa tabi-tabi lang pala natin yung mga bad people. Hindi naman, ano, di ba, ayan na, nagkakalabitan na dito. Oo, ayan na, see? Pero di ba, you really wouldn't know eh, na meron palang mga ganong mga masasamang tao sa paligid, so you always have to be very careful. And gaya nga rin sabi namin, may kanya-kanya kasi, motives, di ba? Um, yung iba, out of desperation, kaya nila nagagawa yun dahil kailangan may makain yung pamilya nila or um, it's, it's for their family or it's for them, it's for their kids. So, mas nakakatakot kapag act of desperation. So, sana with the new administration, mabawasan ang mga manduduko. <laughs> Yun po. Yun na lang, magtiwala na lang siguro tayo um, na mahuhuli ang mga manduduko at sana. Okay, thank you, Shaina. The last question will come from ano yun? Ayaw ayaw din yung madukot. Ayan si Albert. Kuso ba madukot? Shalita. Magpadukot. Shalot. Sabi ko yung das mga das mga na tinutulong. Go Albert, si Chica Nessa. Ang fourth record. Kasi yung nung when you watch the trailer, parang piling ko anong po yung story. Tapos the title itself connected for them with what I'm seeing on the trailer. What else can I expect? Can I just tell you something? How about the first part? How about the second part? How about the third part? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I guess for the audience out there, what they have to expect is the right that you think you want. If you don't know if we're going to go left or right, straight forward, backwards. I, I, hopefully as a, as a filmmaker, that is what I uh, gave the treatment to do for. 
Yes, we, you know, you can get to know, uh, I guess the best way is to get to know which truth that I've spoken, you can get to know the angle already, right? But it's the journey, it's the untold truth behind it that draws my curiosity. And I mean, when I shot Kid Kula through, we all knew Manny was a champion in the end, but I showed you his journey there. And I think with Luca, I, that's what I want the audience to see, is the journey of a family, of two different families, actually. It's, not to get into, the way we wrote this, but it's also a discourse on parallelisms. Meaning, you have a family that's a middle class striving to do good. You have another family that's also striving to do something to support. But the way they're making their money is different. One is through crimes, one is through... Uh, so we we, we parallel two families. The Sandoval family and the Duke of Gang. Everything's parallel. And of course, in the middle is, 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 is in review. So I guess there's techniques like that that can also entertain the audience. I think it's very, it's full of suspense. Like I said, the way I cut it also is very fast paced. Uh, Hopefully that you don't even have time to go to the bathroom or eat your popcorn. What do you think that first popcorn that was like? I just took your... Sana, sana. Then on a hope, we achieve. And then again, working with such a great cast. I think they, uh, we, we, we put words on a paper, but they, they read life into the characters, each and every one of them. It's not hard, like the cast said here, it's not hard to, it's hard to portray something that's never really happened to anyone. I never want any of this to happen to anyone of us. But they're great actors and I think that's what acting is. Uh, I think some of the great uh, moments here, that's why I really feel uh, uh, everybody shines at the, the acting here, where there was a lot of reacting. I remember when, I think it was Ricky Davo and when uh, Christopher and I both told me, but we didn't know lines. Even myself, when I was in that room, I felt like, oh my god, you know, and you feel them. That the acting is reacting, and they really felt that and fed that off each other. Wow. So it's, it's a great ensemble, and hopefully, um, we, we take you for a ride uh, on the 13th of July, and um, you know, something you guys all enjoy. So speaking of 13th of July, um, you'll be completing a win. A local film also. What do you expect? I know. I didn't know what you were doing. That's why I didn't know what you were doing. Correct. You're, you're, uh, you're, uh, I think it's great for Philippine cinema. I mean, I think it should be a, a normal thing where you have local players going against each other. It only means that Philippine cinema is thriving when we're now sharing play dates with one another. Uh, usually, it's one Pinoy film a month or you know, two Pinoy films a month. But now that we get to share play dates with fellow uh, films, based on the Philippines. It only really means that we're in a thriving industry and it's a great time to be a part of the industry. So, uh, yeah, it's cool. I think it's okay. I think um, people, something people now can enjoy going to the movie, there's options, there's choices. Okay, if you're done, uh, Albert. We can talk. That will be the last time I'll send you a Okay, the last question. Go ahead. Yes. What do you think about the film? Thank you, Tino. Uh, Miss uh, B. Pimentel. 
Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbunta dito. Uh, uh, sana po, supportahan niyo ang pelikula ko, ang Dukot. Isa po, isa na naman po, ang husay ng pelikula ko ay pangmamalaki natin. Thank you, Mr. Alex Medina. Yeah. Uh, thank you to so much for being with us. July 13th, uh, support our community in Dukot and as well as our political members. Great support for our political members. Very important to Dukot. I mean, it's you know, it's uh, growing and uh, it's ever growing in uh, cinema. This. Meron siyang, uh, I guess, uh, new life. Hindi na siyang uh, didiktik na lang isang job. Uh, marami na rin. So, support na natin ang buwan July 30th. Thank you so much, Alex. Thanks! Uh, Maraming salamat po sa pagkakita today. Kaya uh, sabi ko kanina, uh, nakakulit na movie po nito. Um, it's not just based on a true story. It's not just action packed. It tells about family values. I'm sure after watching it, magkakaroon kayo ng contemplation about life. Now, we shouldn't be complacent. And we should always be cautious kasi kahit na minsan kadugol mismo natin na bebetray tayo. So, kailangan nang maingat lang tayo palagi. And ayan, kalit po kayo ang July 13th. Thank you, Vance. And of course, one of the busiest actresses. So, yun na magdayaw. Good afternoon. One of your projects. Mo, love you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Good afternoon po ulit sa inyong lahat. At maraming maraming salamat for joining us this afternoon. Ako, I'm from the industry and I'm really very happy with much with much um, respect to um, yung mga lagi natin napapanood, mga rom-com, uh, yung mga dramas. It's really very nice na meron tayong bagong mapapanood sa sinehan ngayon. Uh, it only goes to show that Filipinos are really talented, di ba? So, supportahan na lang natin ito and supportahan din natin ang lahat ng mga Filipino movies na lalabas this year, this month, para naman lahat ay uh, magkaroon ng uh, masayang trabaho, di ba? Magsuportahan na lang tayo na sa subscribe to me. Okay, and of course, Enrique Dio. Yes, uh, thank you guys again so much. Also, so Derek Paul, the 1070 production star cinema for uh, making more movies like this. We need, you know, yeah. something more also to, to offer the people a new, a new scene in the movie industry. And sana, sana, mas marami pa po ka uh, ganito classic pinipin na nalalabas. So, ayun. So, I hope you guys enjoy what you made. And sana po, uh, mabuksan ninyo yung music. And always, always take care of your families. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Ken. For the drama kings, I'm Mr. Christopher. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. I'm I'm very proud to be part of this team, this movie, this project. It's going to be a roller coaster ride. Don't worry. You know, I'm not So hopefully. After uh, seeing this, uh, when is the premiere? Now? Is there a premiere? Devin, uh, there is. There is? Yeah, it's a 12. Are, are we invited? I have a premiere. Thank you very much. So, uh, God bless each and every one of you. Uh, be safe. Thank you, Brother Bo. And of course, there is Paul. So, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this afternoon. Uh, the press gone. And of course, to my wonderful and beautiful cast here. Thank you guys for uh, joining the vision, joining the ride. Uh, but yes, all of you now will get to experience what we've been working on on July 13th. Good Showing everywhere. Support Philippine cinema. And we continue to uh, spread the word, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everyone. Do put on Star Cinema, and of course, um, 1017 uh, production. Sorry, directed by E. Paul Soriano. July 13th, na po. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon. And of course, thank you, Wang Pukau Fili, for having us here today. We'd like to request the stand of the whole cast for a whole